Here I have two contracts, testimport.sol and foo.sol. Inside testimport, I want to use the foo contract. So in this video, I'm going to show you two examples, how to import local files and also how to import contracts from github.com. Now the examples I'm going to show you for how to import contracts from GitHub only works in Remix. First, let's go over how to import local files. You can see here that inside the browser folder, we have testimport.sol and foo.sol. And to import a Solidity file, you start with the word import, and then followed by the relative path to the file that you want to import. Since foo.sol is inside the same folder as test import, here we're going to say that foo.sol is in the current directory by putting a period followed by a slash and then followed by the name of the file foo.sol. And then don't forget to put a semicolon. Now let's say that foo.sol was inside my folder. Then back here you would have to say my folder slash foo.sol. And once we import foo.sol, we can use the contract foo inside this file. So here I'll initialize a foo contract. And then create a function called get foo name. And then return the value of the state variable name inside the foo contract. Next, I'm going to show you how to import files from GitHub. And we'll import the ERC20 token contract from the Open Zeppelin contracts. And to import this contract, we first need to copy the URL. And then as before, start with import. And then paste the URL. And then from the URL, we need to remove the HTTPS. And don't forget to put the semicolon. Now this import will not work as you can see here. And the reason is because the Solidity that we just imported is for Solidity version 0.6 and above. But here we're working with Solidity 0.5. So what we actually want to do is import ERC20 for Solidity 0.5. And we can do that by switching over the GitHub branch to version 2.5. And as you can see, the Solidity is now 0.5. So we'll copy this URL and then replace this URL. And then again, remove the HTTPS. And when you hit Control S for compile, you'll notice that Solidity compiled. And now we can create our own ERC20 token. So I'll name this ERC20 token, my token and it's going to extend the ERC20 token that we just imported from here. And when you deploy the contracts test import and my token, you'll notice that get foo name returns foo, which is the value of the state variable here. And we imported ERC20 token from GitHub and created our own ERC20 token. And you can see here all of the functionalities of a ERC20 token. So I showed you how to import contracts from local files and contracts on GitHub. And knowing how to import contracts from GitHub into Remix is a useful trick to remember when you want to quickly test out contracts. See you in the next video and have a nice weekend.